nieces and nephews lang may ari. They took a lot of pictures and posted on. Course, <laughs> Overall, the place is so nice, guys. Please visit Igtuble Farm. Igtuble. Igtuble. What the hell is Igtuble? It's the bunga channel it's Dee and AJ again yes hi guys and today we're planning to go to Barangay Kataan San Joaquin mm -hmm. and the place that we're gonna be visiting is called Igbulawan Farm yes that farm has just opened last February 2020 and based on their FB page Igbulawan Farm is not a resort but it is a private place where you can stay in harmony with the environment and commune with nature sounds interesting so yeah Tara, let's We'll see you guys in a bit. Bye! Bye.
finished exploring the place or half of the place rather and we're just taking a little break so kape kape muna mm -hmm. uh, just to tell you a bit about the place uh, the place is simple very simple but it has its charms so makikita nyo lang nyo yan <laughs> later as we um, go through or explore the rest of the place but yes. for now um, we're just taking a little break and um, just so you know the basics before coming here um, nakapascale sa labas nila uh, rules. Um, part of those rules are wag magdala ng plastic. Um, wag magiwan ng basura. And then wag magingay. Um, wag magingay it's because there are campsites um, found at different areas of um, of the place. The place. Yes. Yeah. So may ala na gapahuay. So even if excited ka mo to you know explore the place, please minimize your noise lang. Kaya bisan kami kagi naga kalipat kami. Yeah. Nga maghipos gawa or i ano lang i medyo control lang tingo kaya do na sa jahan kami pagabot na mo ni. Kaya namin namin ibang mga. Oh. Yes. So yeah. Um. We'll just see you in a bit as soon as we're done resting. Yes. Bye. Bye. a couple of things um, starting off with how this place started yes this place started as a farm meron tong manggahan poultry kambing basically livestock at uh, na discover yung place na ito nung mga nung pumunta dito yung nieces and nephews ng may ari took a lot of pictures and posted it online at nag trending po siya na discover ng ibang tao din at dun na nag start yung no they developed the Nilayong place and officially they opened it as Igbulawan Farm. Yes. And um, also, not to mention about their hours of operation, including their fees. Yes, their hours of operation is from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. They're open from Thursdays to Sundays only. They also have an entrance fee of 50 pesos per day trippers. Um, they also accommodate overnight stays. Yes. Uh, we'll just post the fees. In the description box below for the overnight stays, they have um, campsites, but you can also bring your tents with you guys. However, if you're going to bring your tent, you're still going to pay the same amount if you were to rent a tent from them. Yes. And also, um, just like to mention that um, around our campsites, there's also a bonfire, bonfire, bonfire pit. pit. Yeah. Two of them. Mm -hmm. Talking about their resto or restaurant. 
Yes. Uh, it's not really like a restaurant, but uh, limited lang po yung menus nila. They only have native chicken adobo, uh, shawmai, uh, silog silog, tap silog, corn silog, to silog, lahat ng silog. Uh, also, um, native coffee, hot or cold, soft drinks, and mineral water. Yun lang. And also, ibos, which is ibos in Tagalog or in English. Sticky rice. Sticky rice mm -hmm. wrapped in banana leaves. Banana leaves. And um, also, they have, I think, cup noodles. So, yun lang basically ang um, pinitinda nila. Piniserve nila. Yeah. However, though, um, you're free to bring your uh, your food. But then again, uh, just to remind you about their rules mm -hmm. in the place. Um, very bring your basura with you when you leave. Yep. Wag mag iwan ng basura. So be responsible again. Pick up your trash once you're done. Thinking about restaurants, the owners are planning to develop um, separate. a separate uh, place just across the main site because they're not allowing to bring in food to the main site because it attracts ants. Ants. Of course. And um, there's a possibility that you know, uh, messy, maliging mm -hmm. messy, maraming basura. So that's what they are. Preventing. Um, preventing and um, for the convenience of those who are planning to dine at that restaurant in the future they're also planning to put up like a connecting bridge, bridge yes from, from the, the restaurant, restaurant going to the main site yes so easy access na lang. so we're done mentioning about their campsites now let's talk about their resting areas especially for day trippers Yes, they have designated resting areas po, situated under trees with plenty of shade and very mahangin. Talk about this time of their parking areas. Opo, meron pong dalawang parking areas, meron sa baba at meron sa taas. Yung sa taas, they can only uh, siguro accommodate like uh, six to eight cars, no? And sa baba, uh, parang three to four lang, but they can also, you can also park your motorcycle sa taas na part ng, ano, ng, ng lugar. It won't take up that much space. And um, if you're wondering about any fees for the parking, none. So don't worry about that. And also, if you're planning to visit the place, huwag po kayong makalimot na magpa-reserve ahead of time. Just message them in their FB page. We're going to link it below later on in the description box. Because they are limiting, uh, limiting the people lang to visit the place kasi nga the new norm they're transitioning to the new normal add on that um, as soon as you arrive to the place uh, let them know that you have a reservation uh, give them your IDs and also I think um, they'll be asking you for your contact number and also temperature yes. scan yeah. and um, for is their there yeah. discounts ba? oh yes or special discounts yeah. are given to the locals here I think what they need to show is basically their ID, mm -hmm. uh, probably showing their address that they're a resident here at San Joaquin. San Joaquin. Yes. Yeah. So special discounts are given to them. And the owner mentioned na meron pong lake, lake at overlooking sa dagat na lugar. So dito kami na punta. Dito kami na punta. Ayan sa dagat jan sa likod namin. And yung sa lake, hindi na po kami pumunta doon kasi medyo malayo at papasok na siya sa forest, sabi ng may-ari. And also, sa baba po namin merong creek. So you can take a 15-minute hike pabalik and makikita nyo na po yung creek kung saan po yung water source nila. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a place where you can commune with nature, this is the perfect place that we can recommend. And if you're wondering po if how we were able to get to this place, uh, as we mentioned earlier, we took a 15 to 20 minute trek. We just followed the trail. Meron po siyang mga, may nakatusok na mga flag sa gilid ng trail. So, pinalo lang namin yun, hindi ka mawawala. And you don't need to be physically fit. Don't worry. Pwedeng pwede po talaga siya sa lahat. The beginners the especially. beginners especially. And ano lang, Hindi mahirap yung trail, pero merong lugar na medyo steep, so ingat-ingat lang. Yes. Well, overall, um, how do we feel about the place? The place is nice. Um, we love it, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, a place where we can probably make another visit, which um, I think will bring our parents along. Yeah. Yes. 
So we really recommend you guys to visit Igbulawan Farm and experience nature for yourself. So that's it guys for our tour of Igbulawan Farm. Hope you like it. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Bye! Bye guys!